Let's answer this question together. Before we do, let's revise really quickly. We learned together before how to answer a question like this, x plus 3 equals 5. We said we would simply move the plus 3 to the other side of the equal sign as minus 3, leaving me with x equals 5 minus 3, which equals 2. Very easy. We also learned, let me change the color here, how to answer a question like this, 2x equals 10. We said that 2x means 2 times x, which means x times 2, so the 2 right here is multiplied. It goes to the other side of the equal sign as divided by 2. So we can rewrite this one as x equals 10 divided by 2, which equals 5. How is the question on the left different from these two? It's different because here we have something multiplied by x and we have something added to that x. So it's actually combining the two concepts we learned on the right before. How do we do this? Well, it's very simple. First step, you need to get rid of the pluses or minuses. So 2x means 2 times x, so we just leave 2x as it is, meaning we want to find out what 2x by itself equals. We want to get rid of anything that is plus or minus the x. So we want to get rid of the plus 3. Plus 3 goes to the other side of the equal sign as minus 3. 15 minus 3, okay? So we rewrite this as 2x, remember I didn't touch the 2, so 2x is just as it is, equals 15 minus 3. Now what do we do? We answer this, 2x equals 12. Are we done? Is the answer 12? No. Remember, your final answer has to be x equals what? I'm trying to solve this equation, trying to find the value of x itself. Now we take this to the second step. Second step is to get rid of the times and the divided, any number that is multiplied or divided by the x, the variable I'm looking for. Here I have 2x equals 12, just like here I had 2x equals 10 on the right. Go back to the left, please. Now let's take a look. Here I want to get rid of the 2. 2x means 2 times x, which means x times 2, so it goes to the other side of the equal sign as divided by 2. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we can rewrite this as x equals 12 divided by 2. x equals 6. That is your final answer. Let's recap really quickly. 2x plus 3 equals 15. This is what I had originally. I want to get x equals something. In order to do that, I must get rid of anything next to the x. In this case, I have two things next to the x. I have something that is added or subtracted, which is the plus 3, and I have something that is multiplied or divided, which is the times 2. I can get rid of both in one step. I need to do this in two steps. First step, I got rid of the plus 3. Second step, I got rid of the times 2. I did this two steps, got the final answer for x. Easy? How do we answer a question like this? Remember, we always want to get x on the left-hand side equals a number on the right-hand side of the equal sign. Right here, I have my x's on the left, and I have numbers or a number on the right. So it's looking good. But I have things on the left. I don't have an x by itself. I don't have numbers that are multiplied or added or subtracted as we had in simpler examples before. So the first thing you need to do when you have parentheses like this, when it's already factored, is you need to expand. So step number one, we need to expand in order to get the x by itself. So 3 times x plus 4 is 3 times x plus 3 times 4. Okay? I just expanded. 3x 
plus 3 times 4 equals 16. So 3x plus 12 equals 16. Super. Now this is going to be easy. I need to get rid of the pluses or minuses first. Remember, we said always get rid of the plus or minus first. So the plus 12 goes to the other side as minus 12. Good. Rewrite. Always write every step. 3x equals 16 minus 12. Super. That means 3x equals 4. Excellent. Now what? Now get rid of the multiplication or division. 3x is 3 times x is x times 3. So to get rid of the 3, we have to move it to the other side as divided by 3. Okay, because 3x is 3 times x, x times 3, same thing. So the 3 is multiplied on the left, goes to the other side as a division. Rewrite again. We have x by itself now equals 4 over 3, which is 4 divided by 3. Same thing. Got the answer. Super easy, super easy. Now let's do one more that looks similar to this one. But let's just use, let's use fractions this time, okay? Now, here's a question. Mm, one third d plus 6 equals 15. Let's answer this. First of all, if you have parentheses on the left, if you have factors on the left, then you must first expand. So number one, expand. 1 over 3 times d plus 6. So we do 1 over 3 times d, which is 1 over 3d, plus 1 over 3 times 6 equals the 15 as it is. 1 third d plus 1 over 3 times 6 means 6 over 3. And 6 over 3 is 2 equals 15. Now it's looking like a normal equation. Okay, first get rid of any pluses or minuses with the d, with the variable. What is the plus or minus I have here? I have plus 2. Want to get rid of it? Moves to the other side as minus 2. Good. Now we can rewrite. 1 third d equals 15 minus 2. That means that 1 third d equals 13. Super. Now what do we do? We need to get rid of the multiplication or the division with the variable, with d. Here I have 1 over 3, all of this I'm going to consider it one thing, one number, d, which means 1 over 3 times d, which means d times 1 over 3. So it's multiplication on the left moves to the other side as divided by 1 over 3. Now you can rewrite this. Let's rewrite it here. We have 1 over 3 d equals 13. Okay? We said we're going to move the 1 over 3 to the other side. It was multiplied on the left, so it goes here as division. So my answer is d equals 13 divided by one third. Okay, remember when we want to divide by a fraction or divide fractions, here's what we do. We go d equals first number, which is 13. Change the division to multiplication, okay? And then flip your fraction, reciprocal. So instead of 1 over 3, it's 3 over 1. So d equals 13 times 3 over 1 times 1, because 13 is 13 over 1. What is 13 times 3? It is 39. Now, you always want to check to make sure you did the right thing and got the right answer. So let's check really quickly. D equals 39. I want to check that I'm right. I take it, and I go up here, and I put it into this equation. Okay? My equation was 1 over 3 times D plus 6 equals 15. Well, let's see. If I put d as 39, it becomes 1 over 3 times 39 plus 6 equals. It says 15. I want to check, make sure it does equal 15. 39 plus 6 is 45. 1 over 3 times 45 
they say equals 15. Let's check. 1 third of 45 is 45 divided by 3, which is 15. So yes, 15 equals 15. So D equals 39. I was right.